for 30 years. God has continually worked through his friend, David E. Taylor, on an incredible scale. Because of this, persecution has arisen. Jesus said, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. It has caused God's ministry here at JMMI to grow over 10 times as much, like the scriptures say, but the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. Listen to what's happening. Some of you have been harassed by individuals slandering Apostle Taylor and JMMI. Some of these sources include the Herald Newspaper of Southgate, Michigan, Charisma Magazine, The Christian Post, Churchleaders.com, Facebook, and YouTube channels propelling misleading content from Vicki Yohi, The Larry Reed Show, and The Britney Channel. Some of the sources have shared Apostle Taylor's deposition video, which was completely manipulated by a known homosexual and racist. This man's name was Rick Frazier, who was working with the Taylor, Michigan City Judge Karen McDonald. They propelled this deposition video to make it seem like Apostle Taylor was taking ministry funds, which is false. They knew this, and the personal gifts Apostle Taylor received from his friendly relationships were painted to look like he was taking ministry money, which was a lie. Furthermore, his books are audited from an independent third-party form with integrity every year. To this day, he has never gone to jail or charges pressed against him because he did nothing wrong. It was not an FBI investigation. Wicked members in the government that have seen the deposition video and believed it without further investigation have tried to persecute Apostle Taylor. The city of Taylor's mayor, Rick Solers, would never act favorable towards Apostle or even meet with him after he and his staff reached out to him and invited him to the Crusades. But he refused, and threats from the city began to be released against JMMI, including the Taylor City Police mistreating and harassing Apostle staff continually. Apostle Taylor loves the government, but when they cross the line and interfere with God's kingdom, they must be stopped by the Lord. The dominion and authority that God has given to Apostle Taylor is insurmountable in the realm of the Spirit from Jesus appearing to him. He said that these people would come down by the keys of the kingdom, with the keys of the kingdom and I unlock the heavens to bring judgment on every accusatory mouth. I loose righteous government around this ministry. I loose righteous policemen who are not corrupted in government. In the name of Jesus, every internet right up on me, whoever has been behind it to deter people and to destroy souls. He says in this crusade, I want you to use the keys of the kingdom and unlock heaven against them this time. That goes for Vicki Yoey, Larry Reed, every last one of them. Suddenly the judge lost her bench. The mayor was raided by the FBI. In the wake of the FBI investigation of Taylor's mayor, we've seen the FBI combing through the mayor's office, his home. Taylor, Michigan police, working with corrupt officials, were also investigated by the FBI. Some of you also saw and heard about the news write-up that Apostle Taylor was suing the Port Authority and the mayor in North County because of their underhanded dealings with him when he was in negotiations with them for the Macy's Mall. Steve Sanger and another lady named Sheila Sweeney underhanded him out of this deal, but God dealt with them, and now they are pleading guilty to charges against them. Found evidence. County Executive Steve Stanger hid a multi-million dollar transaction. Sheila Sweeney pleading guilty to one count of what's called misprision of a felony. As Rick Frazier was pursuing Apostle, a judgment was released against him and he broke both his femur bones. You must understand that this doesn't just happen. These judgments happen to the exact people who were behind the situation. God preserved Apostle Taylor and brought him vindication from Vicki Yohe and Larry Reed. It's also been speaking evil of Apostle and the ministry. It's so absurd because she just said this not too long ago. I met Jesus here. Physically, I saw him walk. I see, I see Jesus. This movement is for real, and I believe in it. Fire. Give the Lord a shout of praise. When I pulled on the grounds today, I felt Jesus. His hand is all over you. And you are his mouthpiece. You are his voice to this generation. There's nothing fake or phony about it. Nothing. It's the real deal. I've been a part of this movement for over a year. My life is forever changed. I notice you say it's like a cult. They, like a, it's a cult, cultish. It's nothing like a cult. We all have seen Jesus. That's, we have something in common. We've all seen Jesus. We've read the book, Face to Face Appearances by Jesus, and our life is forever changed. Apostle Taylor blessed Vicky at a very low time in her life when she was going through social media attacks. When he saw that, he brought her into JMMI because she was wanting to actually kill herself. He did this to encourage her and bless her, and God blessed her life. Now she has turned against someone who has tried to help her. How sad. Allegedly from reputable sources, Larry Reed is a known homosexual, just like Rick Frazier. It's a fact that those who push the homosexual agenda are against JMMI, a Christian ministry. Vicky hooked up with Larry, which makes sense since she was married to a homosexual for many years. This agenda in America will not stand. They try to get our kids to believe in homosexual 
homosexuality, gay pride, and gay marriage. Because Apostle Tevish stands against those things, people who perpetuate the cyber war against him are clearly into homosexuality. Even the judge, Karen McDonald, did a ruling in Michigan where she allowed two lesbians to adopt five children and opened the door for this spirit to grow in this state. They said JMMI is a cult. False. A cult, by definition, is a religion regarded as unorthodox, usually a small group of people with a misplaced worship for a particular person or thing, and that denies Jesus as Savior and Lord. This is not what JMMI is. JMMI is an integral ministry built on God's Word alone. David E. Taylor openly and gladly acknowledges that Jesus is Savior and Lord. He only directs people to worship the Lord and never himself. They said Apostle Taylor misuses ministry money. False. He's given up the majority of his salary and home for the past 30 years for the sake of the gospel. Big ministries like Joyce Myers gives a great amount of 84% back to the ministry. But Apostle Taylor gives an incredible staggering amount of 95 to 98% back to the ministry every year. He believes in God blessing his people, but he does this for the sake of the kingdom when he could get way more. They say the miracles are fake and the crutches and canes are purchased. False. The miracles are real, backed by evidence. This young man was in a wheelchair. Doctor says he cannot walk on his heels. He broke. What happened? God. He's walking. Did you at one time didn't believe in God? Yes, I did. I used to curse God. God, I will obey from this point on anything you say. God, it is God. There is a God. They said he's an abusive pastor and mistreats the staff. False. These are lies based on gossip. Apostle Taylor lovingly spends time, money, resources, and so much more for his staff. Neither is he abusive to women like they claim. His staff does not live in an attic, perform slave labor, starve, or are kidnapped to be here. Because this movement is growing so massively, the Lord told Apostle to open the campus for the harvest, a new revolutionary breakthrough in true kingdom ministry, training, and equipping. What's so incredible is that Apostle is the best of the best because he's getting taught directly from Jesus. And then he comes and he teaches you. He does what an accredited college won't do and lets people come free of charge and provides all of their living conditions, food, and needs. So they can focus on becoming professional and excellent ministers of the gospel who can reach the nations of the world. Apostle Taylor loves his staff. He fights for those in human sex slave trafficking, helping to free women. He loves his mom and any man who loves his mom honors women. You know, I'm so proud of him. I'm thankful how the Lord uses him to bless all of his people. I thank the Lord for my son and all his attributes that he have contributed to the kingdom of God. Me and mama appreciate you, son. They say JMMI uses Facebook and emails to send out spam messages to solicit funds. False. JMMI uses social media to only minister the gospel of Jesus. Also, former staff who were a part, including Apostle Taylor's ex-wife, are speaking lies in bitterness and falsehood, twisting lies. Don't believe these bizarre fables. Because the enemy wants to stop the mission of saving America, these groups that come against Apostle don't realize how Satan is using them to fight against a ministry commissioned by God through face-to-face visitations and dreams. The enemy is also trying to discourage people from gathering to the 2020 Global American Miracle Crusade at the Amway Arena, July 10th through the 11th. It is critical America humbles herself to hear this urgent message that Jesus has given him face to face. As you come to this crusade with Apostle Taylor, the Lord is going to hear our cry from heaven and bring preservation to this nation. Be excited and encouraged. Millions all over the world are experiencing more of God's glory than ever before. Hear these amazing testimonies from the staff. And Apostle Taylor, you know, he has had visitations from Jesus for over 25 years, and he continues to come to him. And more than anything in the world, Apostle Taylor wants you to know that Jesus wants to visit you too. Let me just say this. Apostle is genuinely one of the absolute most humble people you will ever meet in your life. He's sincere, he's loving, and he he absolutely has such a love and a passion for the Lord and for God's people. To be a part of the greatest move of God ever, hitting the earth, led by the Lord's face-to-face prophet, David E. Taylor, call in today.